Hi everyone, so I had some questions about uh, BB5 uh, when it comes to fractions in the front. You can see this problem here. Our A value is actually 3 over 4. Now how are we going to graph it, especially in um, IXL where it actually won't let you graph specifically 3 over 4. It actually it will do fractions like 1 half. Those are pretty easy. But when it's 3 over 4, it becomes, it, it's just the program's not set up for it. So we have to cheat. So that's actually write down a couple things. We know our H and K is going to be negative 8 because remember it's going to be x minus h so if uh, to get rid of the negative we need another negative to make it a positive and our k is equal to 2. Right. So let's go ahead and find our h is negative 8, negative 8, uh, positive 2, we're right here. Now how are we going to graph 3 over 4? Because 3 over 4 is like right here because it's a little bit more than half, 3 quarters like 0.75 so one step over it should have been 3 over 4 but I actually won't let you do that it won't let you do those quarter steps. It'll do half steps, but it won't do quarter steps. So we actually have to uh, be a little bit more uh, creative here. So let's go over the steps. If I go one step over, it's usually one step up. And one times three over four is three over four, which doesn't help me. But what is two steps? Two steps is usually one, two, three, four, right? So if I write two steps over, three over two times two squared, which is four, 3, sorry, 3 over 4 times 4, these cancel out leaving me a solid 3. And the cool thing about the solid 3 is that I can say instead of going 4 steps up, because it's 3 fourths of it, it's only 1, 2, 3 steps up. So 2 steps over, 3 steps up. So that's what we're going to do here for, for this graph. So let's look at it um, actually doing it on the problem. We said our h was negative 8, our k was positive 2. That's my dot. And we can't, sorry, we can't do, we can do halves, we can do holes, half and holes, but we can't do 3 over 4. So what we do is we cheat. We say 2 steps over is 4 steps up, but 4 times 3 over 4 brings it down to back to 3. So it's actually 2 steps over, 3 steps up. Let me do the math one more time for you. Two steps over should have been four, but four times three over four is three. So three steps up. Okay, and so, this, so that's how we're gonna get uh, our way by that one. Okay, let's go to submit and see what happens. Perfect, great. So here's a problem with an easy one half. So let's find our vertex. Our vertex is negative six, positive eight. That's right here. And the negative means we're gonna be pointing downward. One step over. Oops, one step over, come on. Oh, there's my next dot. One step over means one step down. Nope, half step down. The A value is negative half, so we can do a half step. There you go, that's a half step. If you look at it, uh, that looks like a half step. One step over, half step down. And this program can do half steps, but it can't do those three quarter steps. Okay, here's another problem with a quarter step here. And again, um, it can't do quarter steps, but we can find the vertex. The vertex is uh, positive four, negative three. And we would normally go up, but in this case, it's down negative. And I, as you can see, I can't do a quarter step. Let me zoom in and show you. I can't do a quarter step. I can only do a half step. See, the quarter would be kind of like in between here, but I can't do it. So we have to cheat a little bit. And the way we're gonna cheat is we're gonna say, if I take two steps over, it should have been four steps down. But we multiply that by one fourth, and that gives us a negative one there. So two steps over is one step down. Let me quickly show you the math. We know that one step over is normally one step down. Two steps over is normally one, two, three, four steps down. But we multiply our four steps down by negative one fourth. So negative uh, one over four times four steps over, oh, sorry, two four steps down is just negative one. So at two steps, we should have normally gone to 4, but because our a value is 1 fourth of that, that reduces it to become negative 1. So we can just do one step down instead. Okay, so let me show you that one more time. At two steps over, I'm sorry, one step over, we are one quarter of the way. See how that's barely one quarter? But we weren't able to draw that, so we took the next bigger step. At two steps, it should have been four steps down, but because we multiplied by negative 1 fourth, it's only one step down.
Okay, perfect.